Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to promote a Windows Server 2019 to a domain controller. So right now I've installed this device. I'm actually doing this in my test environment. So I've installed a Windows Server 2019. So before you actually promote a, a Windows Server to a domain controller, so what you need to do first of all is to make sure that your device has the right host name that you can see as a the, 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 the device host name has been changed and secondly you need to also, also assign a static IP address so make sure that your domain your, your Windows server is not or your domain controller is not receiving its IP address from a DHCP server so you, from, in your DHCP server you need to configure um, like an exclusion or create a reservation of IP address to make sure that the IP address that you are going to assign to this server is not being assigned to another device so let me just quickly show you what i did so if i go to my properties of my internet um device and let me just click my properties and then i go to my internet protocol version 4 i click properties and here you can see i'm using the following ip address so if i say obtain an ip address automatically it's going to get an ip address from the dscp server so i've already assigned this ip address to this server so for it to be static so let me just click cancel close and close this so to actually promote this server what you need to do you need to go to your dashboard in server manager and click add roles and future so in arrows and future we have here we are in the before you begin so just you can always click skip this page by default and click next and here we're going to actually assign and um, configure role based or feature based installation not a remote desktop server installation so click next so uh, make sure that your the right ip address is selected because sometimes if you change your IP address on your device, you need to actually refresh here for this for the for the right IP address to be displayed over here. So I'm going to select, I just have just one server at the moment. So I'm going to select this is the right server that is selected. So click next. So here we need to add a role role we want to actually configure. So we have different roles here. So I'm going to actually um select the active directory domain service role. You can see some other features we uh, which are required will be added to this role so then click next so the future which are needed has already have already been added so for example like the group policy management has been added the remote server administration tool as well and some other default role which are already have been installed you can see they have already been they are, they, they are grayed out so you can't select them anymore so click next here we're going to just click next and well, let me just explain. So here we have the option also is to say configure Office 365 with Azure Active Directory Connect, or you can also click more to learn about Azure Active Directory. So right now, just click next because we're just going to promote only the device. So we have the option to restart the destination server automatically if required. But if you did not select this, the server will be restarted as well if it is necessary. So click install. So this is going to take some time to install. I'm going to pause this video and come back again when this um, installation is completed so we can promote the this server to a domain controller. So right now we can see that the, um, if the future installation has been completed. So what we need to do is we need to actually promote this um, domain to a domain to, uh, to a domain controller, this server to a domain controller. So just click promote this server to a domain controller. So here we have um, three different options. It says add a domain controller to an existing domain. So we don't have an existing domain right now or add a new domain to an existing forest. We don't have an existing forest. So your first domain is actually a new forest. So what I want to do is I want to create a new uh, forest, which is a new domain controller. So I'm just going to actually give this my domain name. Let's just be a. So this is my domain name I'll be using. So I'm um, click next. So it's going to actually check if this domain name already exists. So here you can see um, our first functional level and the domain functional level is going to be actually to Windows Server 2016. And you can see the domain name service, the DNS has been selected automatically, but you can actually uncheck this if you already have a a server if you are going to configure a different server for your dns server but i'm going to leave this 
option selected and your first domain controller you'll be installing will be a global catalog as well so i'm going to actually say okay let me just enter a backup um a restore password for this you have to make sure that the password matches very well so click next and it says a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because this or the authoritative parent zone cannot be found so if you click more you're going to see more option but just mind you i seen this um, signs doesn't mean that the installation will not be completed just giving you some warning so just click next so we can see that the the, the netbios domain name is going to be your this is the domain name i selected in the, in the, in the, in the beginning and then we will have to click we have the option to say more about additional options but for right now just click next and it's going to show we're going to go to the part where this configuration will be installed so you can see the database folder will be actually stored on your c windows the log file will be stored there and your size full full folder will be stored on your c windows size folder. but mind you if you have a database folder you think you want to actually specify a different location you also have the option to actually choose the three dots here and then we can choose a different location entirely or if you have a database uh, an, an SQL database you, you think um, you are using, you can as well configure that database to this location. So, but I'm just going to leave this the default location here, and here we we'll click next. So here's the review option. You see here we can actually view the script. Here, here are the scripts. We can actually import this script and use this script to um, using PowerShell to promote a new server to a domain controller as well. But for now, I'm just going to cancel this and click next. So you're going to check if everything is well configured. If not, you're going to receive an error message that this device, this uh, Windows Server cannot be promoted. But you need to correct that error message before you can continue. So here you can see that it gives us some warning, which is not that actually bad, but you can see the prerequisite check completed so all the checks we have passed successfully then we can start the installation so i don't go i'm just going to click install so it's going to take some time for this installation to complete so i'm going to pause this video and when the installation completes i'm going to come back restart the server and show you that we are now being um logged on to a domain controller so right now you can see that the um this server has been promoted to a domain controller so this, um, the server was uh, restarted automatically. So I'm going to actually log in. You can see by logging in, I'm not logging in as an administrator um, just to a standalone server, but I'm logging into this domain name. So let me just enter my password. Click enter. So when you log on to this device, to so this Windows server, and you go to the properties on your server manager here you can see that we have the computer name and you can see that the domain has been changed from a um, work group to a domain because previously we have the work group here but right now it's no more work group but it's called um, domain which this is the domain name and also if i go to tools on the tools and here you can see we have some other options right now like the active directory administrative center we have the Active Directory users and computers here where you can create your users. And also we have the Active Directory site and services. I also have the group policy management as well, which was also installed uh, with the you know, by, being, by promoting the server to a domain controller. So this, that is, this is how actually you actually promote a standalone server on Windows Server 2019 data center. I'm using the evaluation version of this uh, Windows Server to a domain controller my name is kelvin johnson please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video you can as well leave a comment or send me an email if you have any questions i'm going to leave my instagram channel and my linkedin channel as well linkedin uh, channel as well on this video below so you can as well check my linkedin um, sites and also um, um, follow me on my Instagram channel and also please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please stay safe. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.